instance in Africa, uh, like uh, the new dessert tile set and old unit icons with skin to dessert camouflage. But also we plan to include uh, new features in gameplay and in the AI department. <coughs> uh, just because we feel we released a lot of content for existing engine already and uh, we need some innovation to keep it interesting. Uh, one thing that we've learned uh, after release of the original game is that most people never settle for anything but decisive victory. So we are going to make sure that uh, such campaign path is the longest and the most interesting. Uh, <coughs> but it will be possible to play campaign both historically or try to change history if you can manage it. Uh, after Africa, we are going to bring the game to uh, Mac and iPad platforms because it was requested so many times uh, after the release of the game. And after that, uh, we'll start working on the new campaigns, uh, showing a second world war from a light perspective. Uh, well, one thing uh, we're going to do is uh, greatly extend uh, the set of available units to make sure the player has enough upgrade options in the course of the war, and we'll add all kinds of new metals, heroes, etc. Um, and the new campaign will cover both African and European theaters. Yes, we plan to develop it internally, because we really want to have just one code base for this game, to make sure all platforms we support remain in sync, have all features we develop, and support all new content we create. Uh, no, we want uh, the iPad version to remain as close as possible to PC and Mac versions, um, obviously, there will be some changes in the UI department because of smaller screen size and because you have touch screen instead of a mouse. Um, but all existing features will be available uh, via this new user interface. Uh, it will be possible to play uh, any multiplayer game from any platform. So, for example, you can play the same game from PC, then from Mac and then from iPad.